Hi, welcome back to the channel. So iOS 18 is out now. So, you know, iOS 18. So it's out now. So I'm just gonna go through some features that are new in the iOS 18 uh, and just go through a few. There's quite a few features, but I'm just gonna go through a few that some people might not know about. So let's just dive in to this video. Okay, iOS 18 installed on my iPhone 15 Pro Max. So there it is, iOS 18 is up to date. So, gonna go through some uh, features on here. So one of the features that I was expecting on iOS 18 was the Apple Intelligence, uh, Apple's AI, but that's not coming now until iOS 18.1 so that's missing off some of the features that are here so let's start off with one of the features that's new so on iOS 18 now you can just place your icons anywhere um, on your screen so let me just move that so if I go to edit home screen you get the normal jiggle wiggle bit there and then you'll be able to move your icons and put them anywhere now. They don't go into a uniform uh, shape anymore. So you can just move them wherever you want um, on your phone. So if you've got like a wallpaper or anything like that, you can just, you know, put your icons around the actual wallpaper. So that's a really good feature there as well so the other feature on the new ios 18 is the control center so that's the control center there so you know you can customize it now so that's the control center it's in like three sections so you've got your main control center there and then you've got like your music that comes up there and then you've got like, this is all like your settings and stuff like that, that used to be up near the top there. So you've got all your settings there and your music. And when music is playing, it does come up with the album art in that window there as well. So there's a lot of customization you can do on the control center. So if you hold that down, so as you can see there, so you can remove icons and everything like that. You can also, with those, that little on the corner there, you can resize your icons as well. So if you just see me resize the scan code icon there, so you can do that. And you can also remove um, icons as well on the control center so and there's quite a few so if you want to add a control just click on that and then you can add any icon or app in the control center so it's really good how they've done this so you can add anything that you want on there so let me just bring that back down. So that's how I've got mine set up like that at the minute. And then you can just press that as well to add you know, um, any control. And also with the power off, so you've got the power off there. If you hold that there, it's just a single swipe to power off your iPhone. So that's good. Another feature on here is the picture gallery. So this is completely transformed. So you've got the picture gallery there. So you can customize that. So you've got all your pictures there. You've got recent days, pets, people, everything like that. All there, fully customizable as well. 
So there's a lot of things you can do on, on the picture gallery as well. So that's really good. Also on the new iOS update as well is the passwords. So Apple have got their own password app now. So there it is, their passwords. So just got to unlock it. Yeah. So this is their password app. So things like LastPass and all those other password apps, you know, because you've got all your passwords in here, you've got all your pass keys, you've got your Wi-Fi, you've got deleted passwords, you've got security ones in there, and you've got codes. So they've made their own dedicated um, password um, app, which I think is really good. So you haven't got to worry about that either as well. So that's really good as well. And there's a, there's a thing in there, you can do a QR code. So you can do that and you can give that QR code. And another good thing is the lock screen. So where you've got these two icons at the bottom, it's usually flashlight and the camera. Now you can put anything down there on there as well. So hold on the screen and then if you press customize, and then lock screen, there is giving you an option now where you can remove any icon on here. So you, you can change that phone uh, camera, sorry, to something else. So I'm gonna change it. So you've got all the options in here, what you can change them to now. So there's a lot of flexibility now, which you couldn't do before in uh, iOS 17. So if I add on the calculator, that means the calculator is directly there for me. And then if I go here, remove the torch and then click add, I can put something like, I can also put an app in there as well. I can pick an app now, uh, any app that I want. So if I click that and say, let me pick uh, calendar. Let's just go to Google Calendar. So I've picked the Google Calendar app. So now that's all done there. So when I click on that now, I've got the calculator and the Google app there. So all you do is just click done, Start, press that, and then you've got your icons there the bottom so you just hold on there and you straight into the calendar and then if I hold that there straight into my Google Calendar there is another feature so it's to do with the Apple Calendar so as not you know as before on iOS 17 anything you put in a calendar it was just like little dots now you can show detail in the calendar so there's like a, a collapsible thing here so you've got options there so you can have compact stacked and details so if i press details it shows you more details of what's stored uh, in the calendar as well and then you can have it as like that as well as a list and then you can have it as stacked as well so that's just a bit different there. So that's a really good feature as well on the uh, calendar. Another feature as well on the new iOS 18 is the customization of your app icons. So as you press that and start doing the jiggly bit there, if you go up to edit here, You've got add a widget, customize and edit pages. So if you click on customize, it comes up with this bit here at the bottom. So you can have light mode while it's in now, you can have a dark mode, you can have it on automatic and you can have it on tinted. So if I press that, that turns all your icons into a dark mode there. You can also have them large as well without 
the description of the app or anything advanced so if you click that that just sends all the icons quite big as well on there so there's no description they're just big icons I don't really like that I like the smaller icons so if I just go back to customize and then change that to that you've got a brightness bit as well so you can go light or dark I like to do it on lights you can still see a bit of the wallpaper and then this other one is tint so there you go you can tint your icons to any color as well so you've got a slide bar there I don't know if you can start picking that up on the, on there, but it is tinting the colours of the icons. But I like to have it on dark, um, so you know I like the icons to be nice and dark on dark mode. Um, not all the apps are going over to dark mode, because that's to do with the app providers but the majority of them do go on the dark mode so that was just a few features um, on the new iOS 18 that came out a few days ago so I hope you liked the video and enjoyed some of the features that are on this new operating system like I said there's a lot more features and the Apple intelligence um, feature that should be coming out on 18.1 so I'm looking forward to that for the AI, Apple intelligence that um, Apple brought out. So hope to see you soon on my channel, BKM Tech Reviews. Have a nice day.